breaking crypto news the sec and the coinbase court case just went up a notch and it dropped the crypto market what happened there what does this mean for crypto going forward i know you might say it's not exactly breaking news right it didn't happen 20 minutes ago i had to go pick my parents up from the airport <laughs> they came back from the u.s and they said everything got really expensive right so you know inflation <laughs> that's why we need cryptocurrency <laughs> all i ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile smash that like button and let's get into it so currently the price of bitcoin is at 68,806 you can see after bitcoin was already at 71,000 we had a massive sell-off here shiba inu uh was also at 31 3100 and it's uh pulled back we need to zoom out a little bit here right zoom out here we go you can see it was at 31 20 uh, and then the news came out we saw that uh big sell-off right if you saw the video this morning i talked about how shiba inu because it has the ability to go up significantly can also drop uh fast and you see a six percent uh, movement here in an hour uh, after the news came out but since then pretty much consolidation across the board you can see ethereum uh same drop off here and actually ethereum has been falling a little bit uh, a little bit more and also bitcoin right shiba inu has, has been able to hold for the most part here um after the the big drop off um so so what was the news well uh u.s judge allows the sec claims that coinbase failed to register as a securities business right the judge dismisses the sec claim that coinbase acted as an unregistered broker via their wallet application right and the uh chief uh, um legal officer right of uh, coinbase uh, came out and said today the court decided that our sec case will move forward on most of the claims but dismissed the claim against coinbase wallet we are prepared for this and we look forward to uncovering more about the sec's internal views and discussions on crypto regulations early motions like ours against a government agency are almost always denied but clarity is the ultimate goal and today's decision continues us on the path while we continue this process and any necessary appeals we encourage congress to build on the momentum we saw last year to advance comprehensive digital asset legislation in the u.s this is critical if we want to innovation to remain in the u.s we also appreciate the court's understanding that technology innovations like coinbase wallet do not and cannot implicate u.s security laws Looking ahead, we remain confident in our legal arguments. We look forward to proving we're right, and we eager for opportunity to take discovery from the SEC for the first time. And we appreciate the court's continued consideration of our case, right? Now, why did this sell off the market? Whenever you have a situation where basically the, the quote-unquote safest broker in the U.S., right, it's uh, the stock market, it's heavily regulated by the SEC, has some... You could say it's not even bad news it's just an update on their case when you have a situation where the market is pulled up right so there's you know we looked at the greed index this morning and we saw it was at 83. this is extreme greed whenever you have extreme greed and some news comes out that is less favorable then you're going to have a sell-off why because the shorts see this as an opportunity um to start pushing down right and there is a little bit of selling, right? Some people get scared. The algos maybe start selling off. But for the most part, this is a short push uh, from, from the uh, short sellers. And interestingly, right, this could actually be a blessing in disguise because when we have the short sellers piling on and piling on and piling on, and then the longs, right, see this and they're like, oh, right, this looks tasty. People forgot already about that Coinbase headline, right? Uh, and then they start pushing it up, pushing it up, and boom, suddenly you have an explosion because all the shorts uh, get liquidated and they have to cover their positions. Uh, and then you see these, you know, big, massive candles. So again, we talked about the fact that at 75,000, there's a massive amount of shorts. This is at just this sell off here, I think, is just adding to the, the pile here. And it could be very interesting to see once we get over 72 73 right get new all-time high here for bitcoin how explosive uh, it could be if we look uh, at the shiba inu graph here that we're looking with the trend right with the upward uh <clears throat> channel right you see that it almost hits on the sell-off almost touched the, the the channel uh but didn't right so it almost got there i talked about this morning that there's a possibility that we could see that 
uh, news, right, sometimes trumps uh, the the action, right, the technical analysis. But even here, right, the technical analysis, you could say it worked because it, it didn't even get to that support uh, and bounced off of that and was able to recover. Um, so, you know, of course, we were higher in the morning, but we're, we're still uh, in a situation where the, the lows are higher, right? So we're seeing higher lows, right? And that's always a positive thing when you're in an uptrend momentum like this. Uh, we will continue to track uh, what's going on. Someone asked me just to mention what was the area um, that I was looking for Shiba Inu to close over, right? And that the numbers are very small and I should, uh, you know, say it more loud or put a larger... Uh, uh, numbers here. I don't know if I can enlarge. I think you can write here on, but then it's already a lot of noise here. So the level that I'm looking for Shiba Inu to close over is 36.51, right? If it's able to close over that, that's going to be a win, okay? Someone asked in the comment section in a previous video. Now, after we talked about last night with the CFTC case against KuCoin, something very interesting happened because in that CFTC uh, uh, um, indictment, right? I think it's called an indictment, uh, or whatever it's called, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, the inside that, they were ref referencing the fact that Ethereum is a commodity. What happens one day later, right? We got news that Fidelity, that had not filed for a spot Ethereum ETF, uh, decided to also file. So a day after that happened, they were like, okay, Right, we have this more confirmation. The CFTC just said that Ethereum is a, is a commodity, not a security. Uh, and so they filed for a spot Ethereum ETF with staking included. US regulator and the SEC have been reluctant to approve Ethereum ETFs and it is unlikely to change unless challenged in court. So we're probably gonna go to court with this as well, but Fidelity is like, okay, we got maybe a little bit higher probability now that it's going to get approved. Why don't we throw ourselves on the, on the docket? If you remember, when we had the Bitcoin ETFs, they approved all of them together. So it didn't matter who was first, who was, you know, if the, the, all of them got approved together. So even people that filed later than the others, they got all approved at the same time. So Fidelity is like, hey, it doesn't matter that we, you know, BlackRock filed six months ago. We're, if we get approved, we're all going to get approved, right? So that's maybe what they're thinking here. Again, I don't know what's going to happen exactly, uh, but this is a very interesting development here. Uh, and the fact that Fidelity is also filing tells me that they have high uh, hopes that it will be approved, but we don't know. The SEC potentially will take this to court. Will they win? Will they lose? I don't know. They have a bad streak of losing. Maybe even by the time this goes to court, I don't know if we're going to get approval by May. People are already saying, but maybe, right, if we get to, to the end of the year and Gary is not the SEC chairman anymore, right, because, you know, election year, maybe that happens. Um, maybe they just, you know, approve it then. So, it, I think it will come, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Again, I, I'm not a legal uh, person, so I don't know if it will, you know, stand legally. Uh, but if it stands legally, there's no reason why. Again, that's with the caveat that the courts don't decide that you can't create a Ethereum ETF. And if Ethereum ETF won't be created, so I don't think a Shiba Inu ETF will be created. But again, that's a, another story for another time. Uh, you know, people sign the... the, the, um, um, the uh, the form to, to get the Shiba Inu ETF. I forgot what the word is now, right? A petition, petition. Um, and so potentially we'll see what will happen there. Very interesting day here today. Don't forget to smash the like button and check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.